What's crackalackin' everybody and welcome back to what is the best day of my entire life. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs in my pants. This is probably the best day of my entire life for two different reasons. Number one, we did something that I cannot believe that is even physically possible for me to achieve. We finally hit 50,000 flipping subscribers. Thank you so much to each and every one of you for hitting that subscribe button. You do not know how much it means to me. Like, it means an absolute bunch. And I thought I'd give something back to you guys. So, uh, I've always thought, like, what would be the best unboxing to ever do in the history of TCG? All TCG, Pokemon TCG players will always tell you they always want to open a Fire Red Leaf Green booster box. And, uh, you know the prices for those, like, $700, $800? Sometimes they can even be up to $1,100, I think I saw one the other day. I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to go buy one, because let's celebrate, let's have an absolute party in everybody's pants. So today, I am unboxing the legendary, the one, the only, Fire Red Leaf Green EX Series Sealed Booster Box. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs in my pants. I cannot believe that I'm physically able to touch this right now. It is a dream come true. I spent a silly amount of money on this. I think it was around $700, uh, which is actually a pretty good price for a uh, Fire Red Leaf Grain, believe it or not. So let's crack into it. Hopefully we can pull a Charizard or something, but look how amazing this is. It came in mint condition. Like one thing when buying old school booster boxes, like the uh, tips of the booster boxes are sometimes crushed. These were in like mint condition. I cannot believe how epic the front of this looks. We've got a Pikachu, which everybody absolutely loves. And like, he looks half dark there. He looks quite evil. He's like, who stole my ice cream now? And we're like, it wasn't me, buddy. Uh, we've also got Pikachu, oh not Pikachu, Pokemon the trading card game. I can't even think I'm so nervous slash excited. I've never felt like these feelings. Like, this is insane. So we've got a uh, Fire Red Leaf Green uh, on the side there. The font they use for that is so epic. And the way they split the color scheme right down the middle, it is completely insane. So uh, we're looking around the box here. We have a Blastoise. And that is right, guys. Blastoise EX is in this set. Okay, prepare to poop your pants. Have the toilet nearby because we've got a Charizard. These are all hand-drawn to the flipping max. Like, artwork, this is why the set costs so much because the artwork is just so amazing. We've got a Venusaur on this side and he is ready to just pummel some people. And then uh, on the other side, it's got Brace Yourself for a whole new era of battle. Dun, dun, dun. And uh, as you can see, it's sort of got like a honeycomb, I don't know what it is, like border background on the side there. When we flip it around here, we got the one. The only very limited edition barcode, which looks absolutely insane in the membrane. 2065. That is like, oh my gosh, you don't even know. I'm just getting, oh my, that barcode, people. There are no words that can express the joy for that thing. So, uh, guys, I think we're going to do it. I think, you know what, we've done We've done uh, the little pre-wrap around the box. We've had a look around. But, Mr. Stanley, you are about to cut the most expensive thing in your entire life. How do you feel? Ando, I am so nervous. I'm gonna do it right now. Here we go. Oh my gosh! I've done it. I've done it, Ando. Okay, guys, so we've just cut probably, I don't know, we've taken about $300 value right off that thing. We've opened it up, and oh my gosh, this does not feel right. Smell the air, guys. That. That smells like 2003 or whenever this was released to you. There we go. It's ripped off. I don't even care. I don't think I'll use this. I might frame it, actually, because this is insane. Okay, the seal is off, guys. The seal is off. There we go. This is a untouched, brand new, limited edition. Well, not limited edition. It's just extremely old and expensive. Open this up here. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs right now. I'm so... I'm shaking. No way! We get a... That's right. We get a little top card. I can't remember what it is. A uh, top loader. That is so, not a top loader, that's what they keep it in there. That is so, a box topper, that's the word I'm looking for. Look at this, we get a Charmander Hollow right off the bat. This is the coolest thing ever. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs, my pants, that looks so epic. And uh, is that classified as a promo? No, yeah, it's a Secret Rex, it's 113 out of 112. So, boom, right off the bat, even if they stuff your whole box up, you've pulled a Secret Rare. That is so epic. Charmander, you can go at the back there. Let's open, let's spread the wings of this thing. This is so cool. So, I think we're going to do eight, uh, eight boost packs per part. So, we'll get two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. There we go. Now let's go. We'll go through each boost pack as we open it, I think. Let's do this one. We get a Venusaur. Holy moly ravioli. This is so cool. Nine additional game cards, not ten, because this is uh, Nintendo. Before the old Wizards of the Coast took over, we got Brace Yourself for a whole new Battle of Era. The barcode on the back, so it's mainly a green thing, but when you lift up the little uh, lever here, we've got like a uh, red sort of flame there. Let's open it up. These are probably, I've heard, the most easiest boost packs to open. So uh, cracking this one open here. 
Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we're doing this right now. We're gonna go three from the back and see what happens. I'm pretty sure it's three from the back. So it turns out it wasn't uh, three from the back, but it's all right, we didn't get any EX or anything. So uh, we'll just keep that in mind. It is two from the back. Let's do this one. We got a Need Arena as our first card there. A Charmeleon, holy moly, these cards are so epic. I think I only opened one when I was a kid. So uh, the nostalgia is still there. We've got a Pikachu, which looks so awesome. A Bulbasaur in the water crossing a river. Really nice Meowth with the uh, shadow on the bricks there. We got another Charmander to go alongside our Charmeleon there and then our oh my gosh this is what I'm talking about the reverses look so amazing look how epic this thing is it's got like all the energies in the background holy mac and cheese and meatballs in my pants that looks so awesome the uh I don't know why the energy the reverse cards in this just uh, they just blow my mind then we've got a regular red Chansey so uh the holy cards and EX is actually extremely hard to pull in this set but uh but the artwork completely makes up for it okay pack number one down now we've got another Another Venusaur pack. Come on, Venusaur, my man. Let's bring us some luck. Maybe a holo. Or it may be a rare reverse because the rare reverse is in this um, booster box. Let me tell you, they look so epic. They got a really funky, like, Pokeball on the back of those. So we'll go two from the back there. It's only nine cards per pack. Super Scoop Up. What a card. And, like, Magnemite on the front there. We got a Kakuna with all his buddies there. That artwork is amazing. We got a Pidgey there, a Magikarp, and he's jumping out of the water. Oh my gosh, that seal! And he's like in the Iceland, the, that hand-drawn artwork, fantastic stuff. Uh, another Bulbasaur there, a Cubone, how big is this set? 112 cards, so it's not too bad. And then we've got that awesome Reverse edu Execute, which looks so boss! Holy mac and cheese and meatballs, his head's come right off. That is like, poor man. And then our regular red. No way! We've done it! We've pulled a flipping hollow on our second vacuum. That is a slow bro, and it's like in a claymation-y form. How epic does that card look? It looks so amazing with the, uh, like, star-studded hollow form. That looks really cool. His eyes are, like, so cute. What an epic-looking card on our second pack in as well. We're doing really good for this. So I would definitely put that one at the back. Slowbro is my man. Pikachu, you are also my man. All right, time for a bigger you pack. Look how cool that is. That's really awesome. It's like on the moon or something. I don't know what that is behind him. Some uh, unknown desert place. Try to keep the boost packs in as good condition. We'll put them somewhere afterwards. There we go. Get that off. Two from the back. And there's no code cards either. Oh, oh, oh. Imagine if there was code cards. It'd be pretty epic. Alright, so we got a Celos network there. A Onyx. Gosh, that looks so brutally honest. There we go. Alright, we got a Spiro as well. A Rattata. He's just pounding around. Get a Meowth as well. A Jigglypuff with that artwork looks so cool. Really like the uh, sun rising there, the red sun. We get a Diglett coming out of the ground. He's, he's in a rush to get somewhere. He's going to get a speeding fine. That is what I'm talking about. That is the one. That is Nido King. That is a reverse rare. And how epic does that look? With There's like a Pokeball on the bottom of that. And we've also got the reverse around him. That is so cool. That is definitely one of my favorite cards. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs. We finally pulled one. I love the little Pokeball. That is so epically awesome. We got Earth Poison and Bound Crush, and that looks so mean looking. Brutally awesome. So there we go. In the first three packs, we pulled everything we pretty much can. So, uh, and then we got that regular rare Tangler, which is all good in the hood because people, we've done everything. All that's left to pull is pretty much an EX, and that's the booster box. All right, so let's get this one open. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we are opening one of these. All right, two from the back. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Another scoop up. And really? All right, so we got a scoop up there, uh, a Pokeball, another Diglett speeding through, a Bulbasaur. Then that awesome looking Ghastly, which looks pretty baller. Uh, we got a Charmander going through the desert. We've got a Potion, a Reverse Nidoran, and then our regular rare is a Magneton, which, oh my gosh, is that the moon? Oh, that's not the moon. That's actually his attack. He's doing a bit of Thundershock there. That looks pretty cool. The color scheme on these as well. This looks incredible. All right, Charizard. This is everybody's favorite artwork. Always goes for the most on eBay. This is so awesome. It's got like lava in the background. I'm sorry if I keep saying awesome or if I keep like repeating myself. I'm just so hyped up right now. The fact that I get to open one of these booster boxes it just blows my mind. Okay, so we got this one here. We'll go two from the back. Let's do this. All right, Weeping Bell. What is he blowing in there? It's like he's doing some uh, Sherbet Fizz or something. We've got a Raticate, a Caterpie. We've got a Squirtle doing a Belly Flop. Oh, poor dude, that would hurt. we got a Spiro as well. A Venonat, a Diglett. Once again, we're getting a lot of those Diglets. We've got a Reverse Charmander. Look how epic those, like, reverses are. I cannot get over. If only they did reverses like this again, it'd be so much cooler. And then we've got that regular rare Cloister, which is all good in the hood. That is so cool. I love that artwork as well. 
Alright, Cloyster always has a really cool artwork in my opinion. Okay, so another Charizard artwork here. What is uh, what is the EX card that you are hoping to get? Leave a comment in the comment section below. What is your favourite EX out of Fire Red Leaf Drain? Mine would probably be Blastoise and then definitely probably that, uh, what is it, Charizard EX. Just because it's worth so much. I think you can go for like $80 to $150 on eBay, which is quite ridiculous. But, uh, but that's what people pay for the EXs in Fire Red Leaf Drain. Got a Ghastly as well, a Charmander, a Potion, a Nidoran Male, and then we've got... Oh, no, I thought the next one was reverse. We've got a Bellsprout there. Then a Rare Reverse, which is a Chansey. That looks so cool. I love that card so much. No way! We've done it! We pulled our first EX. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs in my pants. What the West Virginia Hannah Montana is going on right now? Oh, my... Mr. Mime EX. And that looks so cool. Like, this is so... I cannot believe we did it. We pulled an EX on the first part, ladies and gentlemen. Magic Odds and Breakdown. This is number 110 in the set. So this looks so cool, and it's in mint condition as well. Oh my gosh, this is so epic. I love... No, what is he doing there? He's feeling the wall, doing some Mr. Mime stuff on the street, busking. And we got a really, like, funky green and, like, a white in the background. That looks so epic. Mr. Mime EX with 80 HP. Sorry about that. My camera stopped recording after, like, 10 minutes. But this is so epic. We pulled a Mr. Mime EX. So make sure you do leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you think of this bad boy? The hand-drawn artwork personally does it for me the most. But, uh, but, yeah, I'm really curious to know what you guys think of these EXs. Are they overrated, in your opinion? Because I know a few people definitely think that. So, uh, we'll definitely go... What was that? Did we go two from the back. I think we stuffed it up. Alright, we'll go, uh, we'll, we'll put it back together. Let's see what we can get. So we got a Professor Oaks research there. We've got a X, oh my gosh, an experience share. I think that is XP. Oh, what a weird card. Uh, then we got a Switch Energy there. A Paris looking pretty cool. A Caterpie. Shelter is stinking into the sand. We've got a Charmander. Then a Rare Reverse Victory Bell, which looks pretty cool. That Acid Attack looks absolutely brutal with 50 damage. As well as a Hollow Pidgeot. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. That is so epic. Pidgeot is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon, and it looks so cool. Like, really swift sort of hand-drawn artwork. This is what I'm talking about, guys. The artwork on this set. 10 out of 10. For someone that really, like, likes the Pokemon card for that, this is the set for you. So, uh, hopefully you guys aren't getting too bored of me, like, going over these cards, because I am in love. So, we are on the final pack of part one of this Fire and Leaf Green Booster Box. Hopefully you're as excited as I am. Let's shake it up, shake it up, blow for me. Whew. Let's do this one. Let's crack into it. Okay, Blast Toys, you, you're my man. You're going to bring us home on this last pack. I could not imagine if we got a EX as well. We don't need that. We've already pulled an EX in this part. That's enough excitement for one day. Okay. Oh, my gosh. That artwork. Look at that Lickitung. That is so cool. Oh, I didn't put that at the back. That is definitely one of my favorite cards. We got a Poliwell as well. Another Diglett. A Growlithe. We're getting a few of those as well. Uh, we got a Bulbasaur, a Pidgey, just chilling on the side of the path, a Krabby, uh, oh, is that a reverse? Yeah, an XBO reverse card, which is quite the random trainer, and then we pulled a Dugtrio regular rare as our final card. What an epic looking artwork that Dugtrio has on it anyway, so hopefully you guys like part one of this booster box opening, please smack the like button if you did, that'd mean an absolute bunch, but yeah, I'll definitely upload the rest of the parts later this week, so I'm super duper pumped up, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below, what do you think of Fire and Leaf Drain? Holy mac and cheese and meatballs. Thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. It means an absolute bunch, but most winning this, guys. What do you do? You tell me up, though. You make sure you keep on gaming. See you then, guys.